Okay, so the basic question is, how do you import a model, and then how do you import a texture and apply the texture to the model? Now, that's actually a really easy process, except there are a few kind of wonky steps along the way that can confuse you if you don't know what to look out for. So let's go ahead and walk through the process. To import a model, go to your tool palette and press import. Locate the model that you want to use, and then open click and drag it onto the canvas, press the edit key, or the edit button at the top, all right? Now to get your texture, go to the texture menu at the top of your screen and say import. Locate the texture that you want to use, open it. Now you would think this would be the final step, but uh, it doesn't automatically apply. To do that, it'll take a few more steps. So in your tool palette, go down to texture map, and then in this giant empty box, you're going to click that and then select the texture. Now this is one of the wonky steps that I was talking about. Now even though this this texture was actually made by painting on this model, um, it doesn't look like it fits. It looks like you know something's wrong. Uh, now this is actually due to the difference in how uh, different programs view textures. To fix this, simply go to your texture menu, click on the texture, and then say flip vertically. All right, now you're going to want to refresh the file. So go down here and click on the box and reselect the file. All right, pretty easy so far, right? Now there are a, f there are a few extra things you can do with this. Um, number one, let's get rid of this muddy color. Um, the material that we've got selected is uh, is making it look a lot dirtier than it needs to. So let's kind of clear that up and select something that's not a 3D uh, material by going with flat color. Now this is what the texture actually looks like by itself without any 3D shading. Looks pretty good, right? Now you can actually apply this texture to the model itself to where basically you'll no longer need the texture. To do this, you're going to go to, well I'll show you, uh, the the process and then how to clean it up. So to do this you're basically just going to say poly paint and then poly paint from texture. Oops, let's go to mRGB and then poly paint from texture. Now <laughs> it looks a little wonky. So like, oh wait that didn't work. Well it didn't really work because this model is like 1500 uh, in the poly count. Uh, in other words it's incredibly low resolution. If we go to this you can see what I'm saying see so you can then go to geometry and then just divide it up let's make it a few hundred thousand and if we go back see how much more dense the mesh uh, looks now okay so let's reapply the texture let's turn this off okay poly paint from texture Ta-da! much cleaner and if you go to uh, go down to the texture map you'll see that the texture is actually not on and in fact let's get rid of the texture altogether and see it's still there because this is actually poly paint data now uh, let's turn on perspective okay so let's scribble a little bit on this let's get rid of the texture okay so let's say you want to poly paint on top of this like let's say you don't like the fact that this blue is kind of breaking into the brown you can select oops come on there we go you can select the color now I'm doing this by uh, clicking on this color and holding the mouse down and as you drag over colors you can then just let go and it'll keep that color alright and then we can go ahead and brush it well let's turn on X symmetry by pressing the X key just kinda of cleaning that up a little bit see in fact, you can go nuts with it. Just kind of color over the rest of the model. Now let's say you like this. This is beautiful to you. It's like, ah, this is the texture we, uh, that we want to use. You can actually turn your poly paint data into a texture. To do that, in your texture map, uh, or in your texture map menu, press create, and then say new from poly paint. And see? There's your new one. Now, of course, if you're going to be importing this texture into other 3D programs, you might actually have to reverse flip the texture as you export it. 
So in other words, you're going to repeat the step. You're going to undo what we did a minute ago by flipping it vertically. So click on the new texture, and as you can see, the new texture isn't up here. To add that to the menu, simply say clone texture. Okay? And then go back up to texture, and there it is. So then just flip vertically. All right, now this texture will no longer uh, technically look like it works inside of ZBrush. Uh, like if we actually apply it, see, it looks wonky again, because again, we reversed flipped it. So we could actually use it in other programs. So with it selected, you would then just say uh, export to wherever uh, the rest of the files are. It's pretty simple. Uh, anyway, I hope this answered your questions and I uh, hope I didn't ramble too much. Uh, and if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you guys uh, would like to see any other tutorials made, uh, also leave a comment below or send me a note.